Okay, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix the error code CE100045-0. Now, it's actually pretty simple to fix. Just pay close attention to ensure you get every step correct. So let's get right into it. So generally, you get this error when you have just updated a game and essentially the database or the game database gets corrupted and it doesn't allow you to play it or anything like that. Now, the thing that's also annoying about this is if you go ahead and try and delete it, it will not let you delete it and that is another issue with the error here. So I'm going to teach you how you can go ahead and solve it for good uh, as quickly as possible. Okay, so the first thing we want to try and do is go up to the top, go over to settings and we want to go to users and accounts and then we want to scroll down to where it says other. Now we want to go over here to where it says restore licenses. Click that and it's essentially going to it says if you become unable to use content you downloaded from PlayStation Store, there might be a problem with the licenses for your content. So try restoring it. So you're going to press restore and it's basically going to go ahead and restore all the licenses for every single game. It might take a few minutes, you know, two, three, five minutes. But after that, it should go ahead and potentially fix your issue. Now, something else we want to try if that doesn't work is we might want to go ahead and log into a different user account on our PlayStation and then download the game on that user account. Now, sometimes this, for some reason, can fix the problem so if you have another user go ahead and do that and for that you'd obviously have to go to the users and accounts and you have to turn on console sharing and offline play this basically mean, means that you can have games on multiple profiles on the same console so you might want to try that now if that doesn't work one thing I would recommend after that is basically hard restarting your ps5 the way you can do that is turn it off and then once you've turned it off, unplug it for a second, give it a few minutes, plug it back in and start it from fresh. And this can sometimes help. Now, those methods should work. If they don't, there are a few more advanced methods that you can try. For example, you can put your PS5 into safe mode and basically repair it via that. Uh, but that's kind of another video and it's a bit more advanced. But if you'd like me to make that video, let me know down below and I'll go ahead and do that um, as sort of like a part two to this. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below if it did help you out. And let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make about PS5 or any other gaming topic in particular. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.